Hi, Dave Youngquist, Michigan Toy Soldier. In the first part of this series, we opened up the new Custer kit and dry fitted all the parts together just to make sure that we had a really good fit. This particular kit, everything went together just perfectly. So I've taken the kit home and used two part epoxy glue to join the horse together. Then the next step is we need to fill all the joints in the seams because no matter how good a kit is there's still going to be areas that are going to require some filler. So after the glue had set in about 24 hours just to be safe I applied a two-part epoxy putty. I'm using the uh, the Aves brand not the glue but the putty and you mix that 50-50 and then you apply it to the seam lines because we need to have a really great uh, seamless finish before we actually apply primer and then you know begin to apply paint. Once that's dried, and that again takes you know four to five hours for it to really harden, we go in with a rough file and then smooth it down. We then work our way towards different levels of files until we're finally to a file that really just puts a nice nice finish on it. Take your time, make sure you remove all the scratch marks. So what I want to show today is how you actually accomplish that. So we've got our putty here and make sure it is one solid color that tells you that it's, it's mixed properly and there is a very large seam on the side of the horse's neck and so Let's apply some putty. Okay, so we've got the putty mixed and you just want to grab a pinch of it and literally just roll it out over that seam line, making sure that it gets in to the uh, into the crevice. Now, if you got a little extra, that's okay because number one, you're going to sand a lot of this away and number two, I'm going to show you how you use water or you could use alcohol to smooth it or pre-smooth it, and it'll save you some time when you are uh, actually uh, sanding. Okay. Now, dip my fingers in just a little bit of tap water, and run it over all the musculature. Again, it's a little sloppy right now. That's okay. But just with your finger, you can smooth it out, and then a couple hours from now, it'll be ready to start sanding. And then again, once everything has been sanded and you've cleaned up all the little different mold lines and creases, you can apply the primer and get started painting on this great kit. Okay, here's an example of two 90 millimeter Andrea horses. You can see the, uh, the Custer horse, which has the epoxy putty on it. And next to it is a 90 millimeter uh, horse from their Hussar kit, which has already been epoxied and painted. And you can see that the joint becomes completely invisible. This is Dave Youngquist. Make sure you stop by again. Michigan Toy Soldier on YouTube.